guys, what's going on? It is Cynical, and today for you guys, I have some pretty exciting uh, news and information that regards the possibility of Kingdom Hearts HD 1.5 Remix, as well as 2.5 Remix possibly being ported to the next-gen consoles. So, this is something that I've sort of speculated about and talked about uh, not too long ago, actually, around about uh, pretty much two weeks ago. And um, I was talking about the possibility of the HD remixes making their way sort of primarily to PS4. Now, what's interesting is in a recent interview talking about the HD collections, uh, basically IGN interviewed Taiyasui, who's the co-director of Kingdom Hearts, and um, he basically talked upon the possibility of uh, both 1.5 and 2.5 being ported to both PS4 as well as the Xbox One, which is pretty good news to uh, Xbox One uh, users. Pretty much though, uh, don't take this in, in the way that uh, it's confirmed and there is going to be a port. Basically, Taiyasu has only talked about the possibility and that they're going to come up uh, with a decision whether to do it or not. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, read you guys the, uh, the news article and then uh, of course we'll discuss upon it. When we came up with the idea for Kingdom Hearts 3, it was always 1.5 then 2.5 and we were always thinking about those three titles at the same time. I think putting the games on PS4 is something we'll explore, we understand what our players want, so we will explore the possibility. I'm not making any announcements though, we can't make any announcements yet. But while Sony gamers would likely appreciate the refresher with Kingdom Hearts 3 heading to Xbox One, as well as PS4, arguably it's Xbox owners that need the early installments of the game more than anyone else. When, when asked about whether an Xbox One edition of 1.5 and 2.5 could ever see the light of day, Yasui was hesitant. While the initial reasoning behind this was thought to be the initial exclusivity deal with Sony, it seems resources play just as much of a part. It's a big old question, he says. There's a lot of things we need to think of when we consider consoles. One of them is what our players want, so we will definitely consider that. But there's also schedule constraints, as we don't really want the development of Kingdom Hearts 3 going later. So we have to think about that. We'll consider all these things and come to a decision. So that is it. That's the news uh, right there. So of course it's very exciting the fact that uh, pretty much Tai Su being, uh, you know, he's he's pretty high up. He's, he's got a quite a high uh, sort of role within Square Enix in it, as far as decision making goes with Kingdom Hearts. He is uh, quite high up there. Now the fact that uh, the co-director is actually considering um, and actually thinking about a, a port to the next-gen consoles, I think really gives um, you know Xbox One and PS4 users um, some hope and some light. Because for me personally, I know that a lot of people have actually been telling me that uh, you know they won't be able to experience 2.5 due to the fact that they actually sold uh, their PS3. Uh, so that they can buy a PS4 and uh, many of those people who don't have a PS3 are actually missing out. But not, on, not only that, but like what I think would be so good for this is it would be so beneficial for Xbox users. The thing that they've talked about is the exclusivity uh, sort of uh, contract that they have with Sony. That would be a hard thing to bypass and I think if anything were to stop Square Enix from sort of porting these over to the next gen consoles, uh, specifically talking about uh, Xbox, it would be that exclusivity con uh, contract. But of course, things can be worked out, deals can be made, so I think the possibility of these ports coming over to the next gen consoles are very likely. Um, now, when I did a discussion video talking about uh, you know ports to the next gen consoles, primarily for PS4, I was talking about. Um, pretty much possibly the games could, you know, they could sort of try and up the games so that they could run at, you know, 60 frames per second, sort of thing like that. Um, maybe a higher resolution upscale, um, just just little things like that. Um, but yeah, that that's pretty much it. It's really, really cool to see that, you know, Taiyasu is uh, thinking about, uh, you know, porting these things. I think that's really, really cool. Uh, I know that I would actually pick up uh, a full, you know, complete collection of the Kingdom Hearts games for, uh, you know, my next gen consoles. I mean, I've got my Xbox One sitting here, but I know that I'd probably pick it up on the PS4. Um, but I think this is going to be hugely beneficial if it actually happens to the Xbox users. Because, of course, you know, Xbox One, it's getting Kingdom Hearts 3. And when I found out that, you know, Xbox is getting Kingdom Hearts 3, 
then I sort of couldn't work out, you know, like, why isn't, you know, the remixes coming on Xbox 360? Like, as much as I don't really agree with Kingdom Hearts on Xbox, and I'm an Xbox user myself, uh, it, 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 I just sort of found it weird, because I mean, any new, uh, you know, person to Kingdom Hearts who's going to be playing Kingdom Hearts 3 on the Xbox, they're not going to know what the fuck's going on. So I sort of feel like, you know, it would be good at Square Enix to give the Xbox users the, the previous Kingdom Hearts game so that they know what's going on. But however, they have mentioned that Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be an experience where you can jump in as a new player or as a fan. So, um... Who really knows what's going to happen? It's great to see that Square Enix are actually considering this, so I personally hope it happens. I'd love to see um, the way it would run or something like that on the next-gen consoles. And it would be very beneficial to both Xbox players as well. And on top of that, anyone who missed out on the remixes because of the fact that they sold their PS3 for a PS4, I think it's a very good idea. I don't know whether it will happen or not. Hopefully we'll uh, hear more about these ports, uh, the possibility um, of them next year. But until next time, guys, I'll catch you later. Peace.